Hi guys, Max Powers here from MiniPCForums.com. This is going to be a video on how to flash a new ROM on the MK808. Uh, this ROM is brought to you by uh, Mr. Bob White, aka Finless. It is uh, ROM version 1.4. It is a pre-rooted ROM for the MK808 only. So I will post uh, links for everything that you're going to need. I've already got them downloaded here. I'll post those links in the uh, in the mini PC forum. Uh, so we're going to start out. Um, the, the hardest thing you're going to need to do is get the USB drivers loaded on your uh, computer. I did explain how to do that in the uh, previous uh, how how to flash your MK808. So I'm not going to cover that again. Just go ahead and check that video and show you how to install the USB drivers. So once you get the USB drivers loaded, that's the hardest part. You're just going to go over and uh, you're going to open up. The folder where you keep everything, and you're going to open up ROM Flash Tool. Okay, and you're going to see here a couple different uh, loaders and files and stuff. Do not mess with these whatsoever. Leave um, leave what's checked checked and what's not checked not checked. So what you're going to do with your device plugged in, you're going to want your USB plugged in again to the OTG port on the side, and then uh, over to your computer. Uh, first thing you want to do, you want to see found RK Android Mass Storage USB. And uh, we want to reboot to flash mode. It's going to say success there. And if you got everything right with your USB uh, drivers loaded correctly, you're going to see found RK Android loader rock USB. Congratulations, that's where you want to get. Uh, any problems with that, just go ahead and po post uh, what problem you're having in the form, and we'll get that taken care of. So once we're there, uh, we're going to move over to flashing the ROM. Again, this is going to be a full erase. So pull your SD card out. It's going to erase all your apps, all your settings, anything you got on there. So do a backup if you want. So once you get that done, the first thing we're going to do is hit this button right here, Erase NAND IDB. So let that run through. Um, you, you want to make sure you do this. If you not, if you don't do that, your your device will brick. And not sure if anyone's bricked, but I haven't had that problem yet. And uh, we can probably just reflash it, but we don't want to if we don't have to. So if anyone does brick, let me know, and uh, we'll try and get that figured out for you. So let that finish, and what's that? That's done. Then you just hit the uh, flash ROM here button, and it's going to write to your device. So this should work on 32-bit and 64-bit um, computers, XP and Windows 7. Just the, the, the biggest part is just going to get your, um, your drivers installed. Like I said, just go ahead and check my last video on uh, how to flash the new firmware on the MK808. Looks like it's about halfway done there. So what this ROM is, like I said, it is pre-rooted. There is other ways to root. Um, this one, this one seems pretty easy, and, and this this ROM looks pretty good. It uh, looks quite a bit quicker, and got some of the uh, some bloat bloat off of there that that China put on there. Also, your uh, your onboard storage will um, should go from one and a half gig to two, the full two gig. That it's supposed to come with. Also, uh, with flashing the firmware and uh, flashing the ROM routing, whenever you do connect, like I said, you want to connect to the side OTG uh, USB port, uh, which will also power the device on. But I want it, want to let you know that it's not going to work in a in the new USB 3.0. I don't know why, but don't don't use it if you're having problems. Just go with the uh, USB 2.0 port. If you don't know um, if you have one or not, just try different ports. And if you do have problems, another thing you can do is um, Take out any extra peripherals you have plugged into the MK808. Sometimes those those will cause problems.
Okay, let's see any errors found. It says info run okay. And um, should be still in flash mode. So it's it's gonna reboot the device. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it. Okay, back with you. The ROM did install flawlessly without any errors at all. So all you gotta do is unplug it um, to reset. And I did move the USB back over to the, the power um, USB port. And uh, I did start it up one time before this already just so I could download a couple apps, put my accounts in there, but uh, it's, it's running very fast. Um, so here it is, we are on the uh, custom ROM 4.1. And uh, first thing we're going to do here is uh, open up root checker and we're going to verify uh, root access here. Congratulations, the device has root access. Great. So um, like we like we were told that this, this ROM is, does come pre-rooted and it does. So I'm already hooked up to my Wi-Fi. We're just going to do a quick uh, speed test on it here. Just about 7 meg download a sec. Uh, not too bad. I'm sure I can do better. But everything's working. And we're going to run a uh, Antutu benchmark here. See if we get any uh, improvement from, from the stock. So with, with the stock um, firmware, the, the benchmark I, I was getting was between 68 and 6900, which is pretty damn fast. And if we see that here, or even better, that's that's great. Gonna pause this here and start it when it's done. Benchmark test is just finishing up here. Test an SD card, but I do not have one in there right now. doesn't get stuck on, on that. Okay, there it is. It's 6504. It's that's pretty good. So, it's success with the ROM install and uh, we are rooted. So, I hope this video helped you. Uh, again, go over to miniceforums.com, uh, register and you'll be able to uh, view all these videos and have access to all the files so you can uh, update your firmware and uh, root and uh, install 
different ROMs. Again, I'm Max Powers here, and uh, thanks for watching.